Okay, we're gonna zoom climb here, get up to around 900 kilometers an hour. And uh, pull some old school saber techniques. Let's see if I still have it in me. Pretty much when you when you verse the, the MIGs, right? I'll show you a technique. I don't know if it still works, but if they're if they're closing in on you like from the side, you want to pretend you're going up like this. And then once they maneuver up, then you rotate back down and they elevator lock and then they can't they're gonna overshoot you and you'll be safe. Ready, watch. Watch this. Perfect. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Are you tired of top tier? Are you tired of getting killed by a weapon system when the player fully lost control of the plane's uh, energy and situational position? Are you tired of outflying someone them for them just to use technology to kill you? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I present you the 8.0 Sabre, maybe the 8.3 Sabre as well. We'll just take it at a step. Yeah, the 8.0 Sabre. This is a great spread, 8.0 to 9.0. You're not gonna face any supersonic jets, I think. Uh, you're not gonna face any missiles from a fighter, can I say that? There's so many planes now and you know different variations and modifications, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, what this battle rating spread breeds is a gameplay zone of player performance so above this 8.3 and above might still be great but anywhere above that you'll start to get into certain battles where um a lot of the times the technology does the work for them and it's very hard to use your plane um as a trap like we can do at prop tiers and um, below, right? You know, like a 7.3 and below. This is like the highest tier jet area that you can use uh, pilot skill to dismantle your enemies. It is so fun because the only reason why you get killed up here is from your lack of positioning. And if your team gets clob clobbered that you really can't help, um, but lack of positioning and energy management goes a far way now at 8.0 yeah we're still going to face a cl and maybe uh some like a mig 15 bis and stuff like that but for the most part we're going to be dealing in beautiful dog fights where we're managing our flaps uh altitude and speed to trap the enemy and to get some nice shots this is a beautiful br spread i highly recommend it the A5 used to be like a suffer vehicle for me, but uh, since the BR changes and uh, the rebalancing of some planes, uh, it's a really nice, really nice time. This is probably the BR spread in the game where pilots matter the most in jets. Without any more further ado, just real quick, I gotta, I, yeah, I, I gotta fit in with the War Thunder community here. All right, boys, without further ado, we're ready to go. Now, if you guys don't remember, back in the day, the F2H, wow, we are top BR. This is gonna be magical, I think. Back in the day, the F2H, I don't know if it was uh, versing the Sabres that it was the Bane. It wasn't. It was when I was huge into the MiG-9 late, the F2H was the bane of my existence with the F2, or with the MiG-9. It was so good, it did everything better. They could spray and pray, they could outturn, and they could out accelerate. Pretty much uh, the only advantage the MiG-9 had was uh, just, you know, side climbing and then uh, making sure your shots count. But okay, we are top BR. I hope there's a MiG on the other team to initiate it. Ooh, a javelin. And that guy is very... That guy's going to have a ball of a game. He's got afterburners, air-to-air -air missiles. Now, the thing is, like, I, I don't mind that. Like, I'm not as anal um, as the uh, conventional lock 
or just something like that that I'm proposing. We can easily, well, I don't think we can easily, but we can compete with that guy nicely if we were to verse him. Okay, we're going to zoom climb here, get up to around 900 kilometers an hour. And uh, pull some old school saber techniques. Let's see if I still have it in me. Pretty much when you when you verse the, the MIGs, right? I'll show you a technique. I don't know if it still works, but if they're if they're closing in on you like from the side, you want to pretend you're going up like this. And then once they maneuver up, then you rotate back down and they elevator lock and then they can't they're gonna overshoot you and you'll be safe. It's not the best for like getting on their six, but it's yes, look at that. Cool, MiG 15's there. Uh, it, it, it's not the best for a reversal. Reversals are a little bit more uh, risky, and uh, we wouldn't do that in a reversal, but it's a great way of, 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 of buying you time and space, and then maybe putting you in a better position. We're just trying to hold our maneuvers down as much as possible just so we don't lead as much airspeed. Air brakes on. Nice, this is cool. Stay together. Go for the kill shot. That was a good maneuver right there. knows he's toast I think now all right a little bit, a, little bit uh, a lot of ammo for that guy but uh not the best shooting in the world but uh we're we're, we're gonna reconvene Get our energy back here. Ready, watch. Watch this. He's locked. Yep, nice, perfect. That's what we want it. Oh, maybe it might be for a reversal, I don't know. Come on, Flaps, come here. God, this thing's so underpowered compared to the MiG. What battle rating is that? Holy sh... It's like I'm using an air brake right now. I don't know if he's going down or not. Okay, let's go for the finish. That's just a default MIG? Holy shit. I don't know if those things got a... a if that guy really wanted to, he could have just, like, disengaged that fight. All right, we are RTB. I like it. Perfect. All right. So a late refuel and rearm 
enemy planes i'm going to assume that are up and operational so we're just going to take this nice and easy off to the right this is better more speed more speed now i do not know how to fight this guy let's see what we can do he is fast though okay and we're pursuing We should be able to go faster than him by a long shot here. Yeah, I don't think he's getting faster than this, really. Nice. Love how that guy... Not too many bullets. Big 15. A lot of bullets. A lot of it, too, was because he was under stress during that turn. So when he was turning, we hit the proper part, whatever the game, you know. He, he broke his wing off. Now, we have one more guy. The game's going to end soon. But can we get enough tickets with this kill here? No, it's not going to be enough. Jesus. Like, Orthon, you don't need to end the game that fast with AIs. Yuck. All right, we're back. We took nine minutes of fuel. We might have to upgrade to the 8.3 one, which is fine. It's still, it's still a great battle rating. But let's see uh, what the nine minutes can do in the A5. Managing of our speed. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, that guy's nice. Oh, nice. Good, 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 good. So I think at the very end I saw, I thought he was just popping smoke, but I, he had a uh, oil. All right, well, I, I think I made him really, I, I hope I didn't make him that upset. I think he was a little bit damaged after the F-84. I used to hate IL-28. Oh my God, oh my, oh my God, dude. Look at that, look at that arc he's got. Dude, he, he took out my uh, um, tail without the tracers even coming near. <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck? What was that? Oh my gosh. Here they are. Oh, we got to try this out for some bomber hunting. Okay. Future video incoming. Now we're going to have, so we have 500 kilograms of thrust more. Here, just to compare the two. It's a pretty big upgrade compared to this one. So this one's mass is 1145. This one's mass is 11. So we get a huge bonus with this small upgrade in battle rating. The question is, is the additional 500 kilograms of thrust worth it with the vehicles that we're going to be going up against? It's like a catch 22. Sure, your Sabres much is a better performing aircraft, but the other aircrafts could be Mach 2. Wow. Okay. I don't think we're at 9.3. This is going to be a lovely battle rating. But I really don't mind versing Mach 2 aircraft, okay? Those players who are playing those Mach 2 aircraft, there's two. One that are SEAL clubbers, and you will go away very fast. Two are the players that are going to be a little bit too fast and, you know, having a good time and uh, not not really uh, pay attention to their speed. Okay, MiG-15, roping and doping up high. He's probably going to want to go down, so let's get that position already taken from him. Much better hits. We're going to pull off that guy, save our ammo and altitude. Someone else can finish him up. He looks critical, though. Oh, no, he leveled off, but his engine's going to burn up. 
with that leak. Okay, who else we got? Vampire. So Vampire's a really strange plane. It, it sucks, but the really good old school Jet RB pilots annihilate it with it. Like they would just turn on you and, you know, sure you were going so much faster than the Vampire. Did I say the Vampire sucks? I didn't mean it sucks. It's just, it's just slow compared to everything else. Um, they would, they would reverse you and it would, it would be able to get its nose on you so fast that it would just pop the twenties from forever out. Like this MiG-15, this vamp, if they get in a fight, it's, the, the vampire is just going to annihilate them. All right, let's see what this is. Yeah, MiG-17, MiG-15. Yeah, I think it's a MiG-15. The J-2 is a MiG-17. Uh-oh, watch this. I'm telling you, watch it. Watch it. Or maybe I was thinking of, maybe I'm thinking of the Venom. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, air brakes on. Air brakes off. Air brakes on. Air brakes off. Beautiful. Plane up there looks AI. Ah, uh, he's bombing. You got it, buddy. You got it. <laughs> nice, super uh, suspect. Very nice of you, dude. I have more bombs. Let's, let's check them. Very good. You might have more. I I I don't know. Ready? <laughs> uh. It's so adorable. Maybe maybe we don't want to. Kill me. <laughs> All right, we'll, 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 we'll put him in. I kind of wanted him to go back to his airfield and, and uh, be supply, but that's good enough. He got his, he got his bombing runs in. I don't want to mess with an alpha jet. Unless I can get him on the tail end nicely. All right, good. Good operating speed here. <clears throat> MiG-19, that's a good priority target. Let's see how we can enter this. Low power, more power. We got a CL. CL does not see me. He's in, he's super interested in that AE4. We've got him on the speed. We're on the catch him in the turn though. Oh wow, nice pull. We're gonna pull off. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They have missiles. They have missiles. Yikes. Okay. We will put that into our brain for next game. All right. Uh, I just educated myself. So the one that I remember fighting was the Mark V. There's a Mark VI in War Thunder now. And that's the one that we versed. And it's a 9.0. I don't know if I would trade... The point three for the aim nine, but maybe, I mean, it got me there, but I had no idea it existed. 
But okay, same thing. Maybe a little less power, save some fuel. Don't do it. Thank you. That guy's gone. Yes, good, LA, good. Whoa, who's that? Okay, 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 okay. Now, I don't know what mark this is, so we're gonna get ready for a missile. No missile, good, 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 good. good. We're okay. But are we okay though? Holy LA-15, good gosh. Ah, uh, shook you a little bit there, partner. Beautiful, we're out. Good, good, good. We got good speed on these guys. Oh, get him, buddy. Get him, buddy. You can do it, MD. Yes, okay. Let's wrap around. Oh, you almost got me there. All right, buddy. You help me. Oh, God. I was like, yeah, there's definitely an, definitely an enemy around me right now, it feels like. I help you if I can get there in time. I don't know why that LA-15 is still flying. Maneuver. Oh, God. You got di dismantled. We got energy on him, which is really weird to say. How much prop hang? Ooh, ooh, good shots, good shots. Okay, now we go down, now we go down, now we go down. Flaps in. Okay, we got a lot of speed on him. I'm still pretty maneuverable right now. You almost got me with that. Well, luckily it was just like surface damage. Well, fellas, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay with the Saber. It's a hard trade-off. I feel like from what I saw, I think you're gonna have more fun in the uh, F-25 just with that extra 500 kilograms of thrust. But I think uh, next video, we're going to be checking out the the MiG-15 because it seems very extreme via acceleration. The only question is if we're going to be able to hit our shots. At least with the Sabre, we have a lot of ammo. And it's relatively easy-ish to aim. But again, fellas, hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you tomorrow. Maybe with the MiG-15 video. Back to back. All right, guys. Peace out. Peace out.